and they used to take away the children and try to make them act white. But they, oh. it wasn't until they found the oil that the natives got a lot of benefits um, uh -huh. through a treaty. Who's, the, who's that poetry, the poetry? Oh, I'm not sure who that. Oh, it must be a native because there's a totem pole behind it. Probably, they're into ancestor worship. You know, they honor their ancestors. Right. So you and well, they believe the spirit of the elders, we'll go up this way. Right. The spirit of the elders, there's a card in front of And so for sharpening, oh. just kind of depends on the curve of the blade. Okay. I'll use a dowel or a paint stick oh. or something like this. Mm -hmm. 
I don't put anything underground. We want it to stand as long as possible. So yeah. I'll put it off the on the base uh, to stop that deterioration. There's a channel or groove in the back, and we'll have a steel post that's in the cement. Talking to her, I said that you know, uh, I just saw this part coming to Alaska, and I'm an artist, I'm a fine artist. Uh -huh. That's my education in the uh, painter, uh, you know, oil painting for a living. I did some sculpture when I was a student. Mm -hmm. I want to go back and do something like that. I had a teacher back home from Bangladesh, uh -huh. and um, he got inspired from Torkhams. Um, uh -huh. And he got education in India. Uh, that sculpture is one of the most famous artists in my country. Oh, it is called wow. Roy. And he does mostly with Tatarakara. Uh, but he makes totem out of terracas. Oh, wow. Yeah. I have to say to you, uh, we have a card. Yes. I, I love wow. to say to you this He's very famous in China. If you want to come and go some place like this, and do something like that, and he uh, subscribed the American Artist Painting Magazine, uh -huh. which I sent it to him from, uh, I live in New York, mm -hmm. and I send it to him every year. And he would be thrilled to meet you. Oh, and wow. This is my card here. And I, I also want to learn something about this uh, Torah Mickey. Uh, she was talking about some apprenticeship. And if you, if you have any vacancy, like, you know, years down the road, uh -huh. I'd love to come up here and oh, learn wow. something from you if it's possible. I'd like to go to Heritage Center, too. Well, um, in the winter months, we have a place called the Children Heritage Center. Okay. Now, it's a really good way to be introduced to Northwest Coast Art. Right. In the winter months, all of the master carvers right. go and teach. Oh, okay. And they work with the University of Alaska. Right. Um, and so you're with a class of maybe small classes. Right. Right. Um, introduction to the design, the drawing, right. introduction to tools, right. wood gathering, um, beginning carving, mm -hmm. intermediate, and then advanced. Right. And then usually after that, you start getting off of apprenticeships. To somebody. Yes. Yes. No, I, I did curb some wood, which is we call it, uh -huh. uh, you know, um, woodworking, meaning uh -huh. uh, wood cuts. We call it. You get a plank of wood and you draw a landscape or some kind of figure, and you curve out it, then you put ink on it, and you get an impression on it. Oh, okay. Hard. That's the wood cut. Mm -hmm. And I've done many of them. Oh wow. When I was a student, so but I'm, I'm going to go back and learn to make these things. You know, that so I it's very nice. Go ahead. Yeah, I was changing my lens and just forgot about it. Yeah, 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 that's what we do. Okay, <laughs> one more She's a photographer. Oh, okay. She, yeah, so. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks. So I'm writing down the Totem Heritage Center. Right. And you can get online and, and, and check out their class schedule. And it, it starts every fall. Well, what month is October? October ish. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. So what I do a lot of uh, the the drawing, a lot of the designing. Right. You have to have this to do that. Right. This is more natural. Right. This I really work at. Right. I always it's really in your head. Yeah. Then you, when you start carving it. You to be the surround piece of cedar and then you just cover around it, that's how you do it. Well, and you draw on it first. Okay, now I'm embarrassed to show you so no. this is the rough draft. Right. This, this is actually part of the very rough finished. draft of, of I drew a nicer plan, but this gives me um, I have it to scale, I have dimensions, right. some profile, right. but most importantly, um, this tells me right away I need a, a thirty-two foot log. 
Okay, okay, but mm -hmm. see these things are coming out of this thing. This is a separate piece you can attach no, it to? No, uh, well, like this will be attached. Like this, this is this. attached? Mm -hmm. okay. This is attached. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. But it's, it's, how do you weatherproof it? You don't weatherproof it, it stays out there like this? They take on a, a beautiful silvery gray as mm -hmm. they weather, mm -hmm. and that is best. That's the best. Oh, yeah? mm -hmm. I used to use a treatment, but, but it's part of the art to turn uh, that sil cedar turns a silvery gray. Silvery gray. Mm -hmm. Over the years, mm -hmm. and what's the life span of these things once you make it to put it out there? Uh, the old years? way of doing it, 50, 60 years. Okay. The way we do it now, over 100, hopefully. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Yeah. The paint you're using, it's, it's not an actual paint anymore, no. I guess. It's no. from a hardware store or acrylic latex. Latex, okay. In the old days, they used to use natural dye. Mm -hmm. Very seven eggs. Seven eggs. Oil based paint. So some of the uh, old totems you have here, those are still have those salmon egg? Uh, no. Oh, it's all gone. No, it takes a lot of salmon. They chewed it with saliva. So it would take a lot of um, chewing to get that paint. No, you want to make my, saliva my question with oil. Is, say if you have a totem from, uh, say, 60 years ago and they done it in a natural oh. way, is paint still holding? Or it's it gone pretty much? It, it, in the lower 48, in the States, any major museum that you can think of has yeah. a collection of I mean, New York, I mean, New York, we have one in the... In the go, go in, if they, have, if they have it out, go and look. And sometimes you can get into the archives. Right. And they have pieces that, that are 300, indoor, 200 years old. Yeah, away. indoor, I, would, I know they will last, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about outdoor, leave it no, out there. No, none at all. No, 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 they're no. gone. They're gone. They're gone. Saxman repaints their poles every five or six years. So. This is what they would, they would even be standing now. They would be on. I think this is much more attractive than Saxon. Saxon looks like they put seven or eight coats of paint. Right. Yeah. It's so nice to meet you, Brittany. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, definitely, uh, definitely, I'm going to talk yeah. to uh, Totem. Do you mind taking a picture with you? Sure. Sure. So, Mona and Mustafa. Mustafa have a rag day. It's called like everybody's uh, throwing paints to each other. Uh -huh. But we always had a totem in front of the parade, and which is a represent this totem, mm -hmm. this motifs. Mm -hmm. And it's made out of different kind of like a high material, nylon material, mm -hmm. but we used to draw these totem faces on those uh, things and we used to carry it in the parade in the front of it. That's a good shot. He was so mm -hmm. And you keep it. Contact yes, yeah, I go home every six months. Oh, I go home every six months and I go wow. see. He has, he has, he has his own village. The village where he burns all his terracotta, like make, makes it with the milk plate and then burn it in the furnace. And he makes so it's, he keeps it pretty uh, uh, dry. Yeah, and he's no, then he, he glazes it, he burns, he burns it, and he's glazing on it. So it's for our door. He does commercially wow. also for people's houses wow. in the fountains and all this. Yeah, yeah. he's the biggest one in China. Yeah, he has a sculpture done in China, uh, wow. a sculpture project. They took him from Bangladesh, and it's four ton. Wow. He's a master. Yeah. Four masters. Four ton. Yeah. He's, wow. a, he's only his, uh, 54, 56 Oh, wow. Ton. Wonderful. But very inspiring guy, very much. What do you cover this one? If it dries out too quickly, the log could split. Oh, and so okay. I tried it. So it's, it's, it's not it. completely dry wood yet. Not. It is now. It is now. Okay. Yes. okay. All right. That's a good shot right there for a shot of the cat. She comes to work with me every day. That's the mascot. We love princess. So you stay pretty much in Ketchikan here? Uh, yep. I travel in the winter if I can. Okay. If you ever come to New York, I have, you have my card. Absolutely. Get in touch with me. Absolutely. Stay with me. Oh, not in a hotel. Not in a hotel. Oh my goodness. Can I come and stay in the car? Please. Okay, I'm going to be working with our artistic license and doing an even more impressive job. Eagle Boy here. Uh, Eagle Boy would feed the eagles, um, and the eagles brought two eagle, uh, food to him when they were starving. So that tells the story of Eagle Boy. They keep putting wood on it, and it, it's smoky in here. Right. And after three days, the salmon is cured. 
You can, in just you three can, days. Yeah, so in just three days, it's going to be. You don't rot or anything. Uh uh Now, in the ocean, there are big worms. These worms live in the ocean, and they eat, eat through wood. So, so you, the wood which is falling down to the ocean and going yes, to the bottom. It, right. It's all on the sand. They live in the sand, and they burrow they into, it. into it. So if you have a wooden bottom boat, right. you have to paint the bottom of it because the they, don't, they won't eat through trees. Did you know that's digitalis, the medicine digitalis for your heart? Nice. And if so you make here? a tea from that uh, flower, you can actually slow down your heart. It's very dangerous. Oh, yeah? so they tell you not to drink the tea. Oh, okay. And this here.